Tonight, we're expecting some light snow here in the metro area. We could see up to two inches over the urban corridor. The higher totals will be over places like the Palmer Divide and up to four inches over the western foothills. And the first alert weather day is for the timing of the storm system, not for the amount of snow that we're going to see. It's going to hit just in time for your drive home, making for a messy Wednesday evening commute. Taking you to City Park this afternoon, mostly cloudy skies, dry conditions right now, but that'll all change later this afternoon as that storm moves in. It is chilly out there for this Wednesday and the 1st of March, 28 at the airport, 34 in Boulder. With the clouds, we're not seeing much of a warm up today. On the first alert, satellite and radar seeing snow throughout the high country. Also, some snow starting to move in to Fort Collins, Boulder, out towards Fort Morgan. Just a few light flurries picked up on the first alert satellite and radar. Closer look at the Denver metro area right now. You can see that mostly cloudy skies dry here right now, but we will see some flurries move in later this afternoon. We'll time things out for you on the future cast. By 3 p.m. this afternoon, you can see snow really picking up through Fort Collins, Estes Park, Ward, down south through Conifer. Then around 5, 6 o'clock, we'll start to see that snow move into Boulder, Longmont, Broomfield, and the Denver metro area south through Douglas County. And that will wrap up later this evening, and by tomorrow morning, we'll have clear skies. So this is what the snow forecast is looking like at this point here in the metro area. Not too much snow expected. Again, the first alert weather day for tonight is for the timing of the snow, not necessarily how much we're going to see. So most of us half an inch to an inch here in the Denver metro area. But as you go to the west and the southwest in the foothills could see a bit more and especially south through the Palmer Divide. Areas north and east of the city really just expecting a dusting of snow. It's a different story, though, up in the high country where we have a winter storm warning in place through tomorrow. We're talking feet of snow in some places. And when you mix that with the strong and breezy conditions, it'll make travel difficult in that area. Also, winter weather advisory in place through 6 p.m. tomorrow. We could see 5 to 10 inches of snow west of Eagle along the I-70 mountain corridor. And a winter storm watch. This goes into place tonight through tomorrow. This is for a stretch along I-70 to the Kansas state line. Including Burlington, we could see very breezy conditions and about three to six inches of snow. So winter driving conditions that direction tonight into tomorrow. Now let's talk temperatures. Today is going to be a chilly start to March. We'll be in the low 40s, upper 30s throughout the Front Range, as well as most of the Eastern Plains. Down in Southeast Colorado, still a warm pocket in the mid 50s and up in the high country in the 20s and 30s today, 40s out to the West. And then overnight tonight, it's going to be a nice cool down. We'll be in the teens and 20s up and down the I-25 corridor, as well as the Eastern Plains. Up in the high country, 8 in Breckenridge overnight, 5 in Leadville, and 19 in Alamosa this evening. On the super 7-day forecast, tomorrow, another chilly day. We'll be in the low 40s with temperatures running a bit below where they normally are for this time of year. A chance to see a few flurries tomorrow morning. Then on Friday, we'll bump temperatures up to the mid 40s, and we have another chance to see some overnight snow, Michelle. This system looks to be really similar to this one with just light accumulation, but that's Friday night into Saturday. And then looking ahead to the weekend, if we dry things out and warm things up by Sunday, 50 degrees.